and welcome to my garden. Today I am going to be planting out everything in my cold frame. So let's have a look what I've got in there and what needs doing and where it's going to go. So in the cold frame I have 10 sunflowers there which have not moved at all. They really aren't doing anything. I potted them on and they more or less just stay in put. So I'm going to plant them out and hope that them going into the into the, the final positions will rush them on a bit. Similarly, exactly the same situation with this calendula. I have no idea why, apart from possibly bad compost, that they're going to just go into the ground somewhere as well, or maybe into a couple of pots um, to go around the garden. Uh, my anti-rhinum, these seem to be the only things that are doing okay. So they might stay as they are for the time being. Um, just just until I, I plant them out into their normal um, final positions. This sunflower my daughter planted in school. So that can go out because that's shooting up now. It's doing so much better than mine. Maybe I should get my daughter to plant all of my sunflowers. Hmm. Um, right, down here we have squash, butternut squash um, plants. The one on the end is a butter bush, which um, is meant to grow in containers. It's better grown in containers. Then there's two um, butternut hunter varieties. They can go into the ground. That's another butter bush. And this is a stripy courgette plant, so that can go into a final container as well. And then I've got three watermelons here. There was five, but the others have been eaten by the look of it. And I'll show you where I'm going to put them now. So I'm in my greenhouse now. And I have got four cucumber plants along here. Uh, they're all the same variety, which is a uh, burpless green tasty F1 variety. These two are doing really well. This one has just rotted away completely. And this one, I don't know why, it seems to have just like elongated. And then there is something going on at the top. Uh, but I'm not really sure if it's worth keeping that plant going because when you look at that compared to how it's meant to be, which is that, then maybe I should take that out and maybe I should put one of the watermelons in there. One of the watermelons in there. And I think what I might do with this one is plant or sow just another cucumber um plant this variety uh, but then I'll just have a, a, a prolonged harvest won't I if, if this one gets going if I replace that one so I think that's what I'm going to do at the moment and coming round to the front greenhouse um, there's been a bit of a disaster with the cucumbers and melons in here um, I think that when I was away my husband overwatered it and the weather wasn't great so I think it was just quite damp in here and the consequences are that the cuca bits have suffered a bit so as you can see from this 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 plant is coming out and a watermelon is going in there this melon in the corner I am going off the fact that there is green on top there, so I'm leaving that to sort of sort itself out, hopefully. Similarly with this one here, um, there's some green growth and a flower, so I'm hopefully um, going to get something from there. Then the cucumber, this cucumber's going very strong. and has got a cucumber on it uh, but the other two they just shriveled up and disappeared uh, so I will sow seeds in there 
and then we got this one in the corner which again has got green growth on the top so I'm leaving that one alone similarly with this one I'm leaving that one alone but this one this one looks like oh yeah look if I pull it it's all come away so one of my watermelons is going to go in here as well in this area here my butternut squash plants are going to go in I'm going to um, put together two cot frames like I did last year um, going to weed it first obviously and they can climb up the cot frames um, when they get going hopefully fingers crossed and the two butterbush plants will go in pots um, and will sit uh, by my potatoes because um, they'll be in the sun all day and my sunflowers I'm just going to dot around the garden here or there um, some in the flower bed some near the veg patch and the same with the calendula so um, let's stop talking and let's get on with some work I've had four strawberries before this but this is the first sort of proper harvest of strawberries and this is the first harvest of tea berries and the uh, tea berries once you start harvesting them you need to check them every day they'll just um, you'll get probably ten berries off them at least every day from now on so I'll um I'll have to stay on my toes the next job on my list is to harvest the rest of these broad beans and then clear away all these broad bean plants i was um i was hoping to save some seed but i haven't really got the time to leave the the pods to dry on the um on the plants i i, I want to plant more carrots and leeks here and um, in this space here and I've got some already started down here, but I want to cover them in Enviromesh. So um, I, I need to clear this space now, really. Another job I need to get done today is to finish this cane structure here. It's almost finished. Um, I just need it to stop my asparagus from flopping over because I'm hoping that more asparagus spears, spears will grow during the summer. So I want these canes in place to um, stop them flopping over onto the floor. And I just need to put cross beams across there to there so that um, these will stand more upright and be connected to one another. And, um, and then my other job I need to do today is with this trailer, um, this trailer 
bed here I need to empty out the compost and ideally move the trailer so my plan is to move the trailer from here to where the strawberry bed oh well not bed but the strawberry shelf is there and then the strawberry shelf will just move down between those two trees here and the reason why I'm not putting my trailer bed here is because the trailer bed is wider than that set of shelves so if I put the trailer bed here it'll come out to like maybe here and that will really limit getting past this section here um, so it will be easier to just swap the shelf to there so as always lots to do so let's get on with it and see how far I get So I got those jobs done. I have um, stringed up the asparagus. Well, I say stringed up. I've made like a grid system to go across where each plant is so that hopefully the plant can just, if it needs to, it can just rest on any of those four corners instead of flopping over. So it will keep the, the plant upright, um, which will obviously help the plant photosynthesize during the the winter uh, during the summer because I've had a few that um, like this one here that's missing I've had one that snapped off there and um, a couple more have done that because they flopped over and then they've broken off from the root so I just wanted to make sure I could assist them as much as I could so they will um, help with the photosynthesis of the asparagus and then I've moved the trailer to here. I have emptied it and um, it's gone it's gone to there for the time being until I get around to moving this shelf down to there and then I've got a nice bag full of compost here and I've got a nice area here to put another bed in and what I'll do is I'll just put the bed up to that drain there so I won't, I won't use the whole length of here I won't go right up to that water but I'll just um, I'll just do it from there and then my husband can get into there if he needs to sort out the drain at any point so this bed will go as well, this L-shaped bed, and it will probably will probably be a step bed like this one because whatever's at the back there, it's always sheltered by the house. So the watering at the back here doesn't doesn't do very well. So that's kind of why I've got the nephophia there. Um, whereas if I had veg there, it, it wouldn't do very well. Oh, hello, Amber. And in the back garden, the broad beans have now gone. It always surprises me how different things look when you take things out. Like how how quickly you get used to something being there and then it, it's not anymore. Um, but in this bed now, I've got some leeks and I'm going to sow some carrots. So I guess I better get on with those jobs now. carrot and leeks 
There's the ones I planted earlier and then these ones I planted today and down this end I've sown some Eskimo carrots and at the top end I've got some Norfolk F1 carrots. Well that's it from me for today. I'm uh, very pleased with what I've got done. I'm pleased to get those leeks in and those broad beans out. It always feels nice when you get something moving in the garden, doesn't it? Um, so I just need to go and cover them over now and um, hopefully they'll grow well. So, oh, I've just spotted a white, a cabbage white butterfly. Hmm. I wondered where they were. I haven't seen them. I've just spotted one now. Anyway, that's it from me for today. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing and commenting if you have done so. And um, all I can say about my work today is lovely job.